Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. <music> Kenneth Chesbro flipped. It was hard, okay? He waited till the last minute, but he flipped. So we're going to see uh, what the cards can tell us about this situation with Kenneth Chesbro. And I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, come on, subscribe. And thank you very, very much for oh. watching. <laughs> so Kenneth Chesbro. And I have to admit, I've just recently finally figured out uh, how his name is properly pronounced. I mean, in the beginning, when he first came onto my radar, radar being from Wisconsin, and his name being looks like Cheese Bro, you know, the bro from the cheese place. That's interesting. And it's I found out that we find out from the court um, uh, session uh, that he's living in Puerto Rico primarily. And expects to go back there and wants his uh, probation to be transferred to Puerto Rico, which is not unheard of. You know, we have territories. It'd be like, you know, going from one state to another state. So, Kenneth Chesbro will ask uh, everything uh, we can about that. Just a few questions off the top of my head. But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment, you know, of meditation. Chesbro. Well, just like we uh, talked about with uh, Sydney, is he going to testify specifically? Now, you know, he testified guilty or pled guilty to a felony charge, okay? Unlike Sydney Powell, her were misdemeanors, but a felony charge. But the same kind of deal as first offender, I believe eventually he'll be able to say, once he serves the sentence uh, to the satisfaction of the court, that he'll be able to say he was never convicted, I think. Something like that. And uh, interesting to find out that he lives in Puerto Rico. And so he wants this to be moved to there, his uh, probation. And, um, well, but let's just ask right away, is he going to testify against Trump? Let's just get that baseline out there. Is Kenneth Chesbro going to testify against Trump? Okay, here we go. Okay, five, six, seven, eight of wands. Lots of issues, a lot of things to manage. Actions, plans, forward movement, that's what wands are. And look how fruitful all these are. So he's got a lot up in the air, okay? Uh, the next thing is the four of swords, being very careful regarding truth, justice, rules, and law to move forward. Got to move forward with caution. And then the last one, the nine of cups, is again, just you know, being very happy to display your emotional um, trophies. So yeah, he... Um, he will testify against Trump. Yeah. There's lots to choose from. He's going to be cautious, um, but he'll be proud to display those uh, emotional trophies. He's ruined his life. What's left of He's 62, I think, at this, as of this reading. So, Kenneth Chesbro, um, will his testimony be a key determining uh, factor in the downfall? of Donald Trump. Will Kenneth Chesbro specifically, his testimony, be a big deal in the downfall of Trump? Three cards. Will Kenneth Chesbro's specific testimony be particularly damaging? So, oh, it's like magic. The magician. Okay. The next thing up is the King of Swords. Um, so, swords are truth, justice, rules, and law. The King of Swords. Okay, he's going to assume the position of owner of that truth. Kenneth Chesbro is. And then the three of swords is a broken heart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's going to do major damage uh, to Trump. It will be like magic in the hands of the prosecution. Remember the magician has uh, cups, he has swords, he has uh, pentacles, and he has wands all at his beck and call. And uh, Kenneth Chesbro is going to be the king of swords and cause uh, a lot of broken heart. For Trump. Yep, it'll be a big deal. 
He had direct conversation and communication with Trump during all this stuff. And he has pled guilty to a felony. So, uh, let's do the same thing. Is uh, Kenneth Chesbro going to financially benefit eventually from what's happened here? I'm going to assume he's probably already pretty well off, but he's 62, plenty of time to write a book. Will, will he write a book? Three cards. One, two, I don't know why he wouldn't. Three, lost his uh, ability to practice law. Uh, Ace of Wands, great big action. Three of Cups, celebrations, emotional celebrations. And the eight, practicing his craft. Oh yeah, this is something he, okay, I don't think he's been an author before. So yeah, this is gonna be a great big Ace of Wands, a great big action that he's gonna take. Uh, it, it'll be an emotional celebration. It'll be like an anointing to get the truth or his words at least and what he may tell us is the truth out to the public and um, practicing his craft. It's, so it's not what he does, what he has done, so it'll be something that he will uh, be working on to get it just right. Yeah, and now he's gonna write a book. Let's see if he's gonna get, uh, you know, really well off from it. You know, I would say if someone's made a million dollars, then they've done really well on something like that. So is he going to really have a, a big benefit from writing this book? Amazing how this works out. Three cards. You know he will, but let's see what the cards say. Two and three. Kenneth Chesro is going to make money off of a book. Look at that. Yeah, he'll get it. He might do a couple of them, as a matter of fact. Uh, the Five of Cups. Uh, yeah, this is the interesting card. Emotionally, looking at what you've lost, which is all of his honor and his ability to be a lawyer. But uh, in this case, there are a couple things still up on the shelf that he's going to eventually look up and see. And then the final card is the Empress, very fruitful. Yeah, yeah. He could make, you know, a whole living out of this. You know, he's got another uh, 10, 15 years to keep milking this uh, book horse. Amazing. Amazing. So... That's what I get. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards. But these are very nice cards. You use all of them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things uh, spiritual. Um, and then, so she kind of conceived of this thing. Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager. But she got him to design the cards, and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collins. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils. Uh, before they became finished works of art, and I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the west coast, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical easy to read uh, tarot card. Now put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different, and uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now.